Hello. Hello. Welcome to our channel. As you like scissor snap your way. <laughs> Last time on the show, we had fun with photography. The girls and I went out to a lake and to a river where we live, and we took a whole bunch of pictures. It was a lot of fun. This time, we're going to take our pictures and put them in frames. So the first step in that is to print your pictures. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Waiting for those pictures. <laughs> the frames I got were just cheap little dollar frames. Uh, so they were a little rough around the edges. So the next thing we're gonna do is sand all the edges so they're nice and smooth. You want me to help you with yours, Allison? Oh, it's my ground. I don't know. It'll Just make sure if you do your sandpaper that you, you know. Sandpaper like the edges. Yeah, center the edges and, the, and the before you paint anything, make sure you do get all the, get all the um, when you sandpaper, see all the little dust? Get all the little dust off. Yeah, I was trying to make it a little bit rough to make it like more what I was trying to go for. Yeah. So I was actually going the opposite way of the wood grain. Oh, smart. To make so it a little smart. bit more rough. This is so You know, okay, kiddo? Eye. It's good. Well, don't put any sandpaper in your eye. All right, I'm done with mine. All right, so I have to decide so whether I... to do this picture of you girls. See camera, this picture of the girls. Or do you like this one better? I like that one. I like that? I like that one. What are you putting in yours, uh, Allison? Let me see. All right, I think I'll do. All right. I am going to put it that one. I'm going to do this one. All right, and then I'm going to do this one then. So we're all doing, instead of nobody's doing people, I'm going to do. I didn't do, even print out people. You didn't? I printed out a little. So I'm going to do my my one with that. I didn't take I a picture did. of people. But, um, you did? I'm doing mine with the river. I'm doing mine of a tree in front of the river that um, I love so much. So now I just have to decide what color. And I think I'm going to do mine. I'm doing mine with a brownie black base. And I'm going to go, after that dries, I'm going to go over it with white. And then I'm going to sandpaper it down to have a rustic look. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to be quite as fancy. I think I'm going to do mine blue. And I'm just going to put some streaks of brown on it. I was thinking about this one for a while, and I thought about it, and I wasn't going to do blue because of the color. Me and Lena have the same exact photo. Well, very Yeah, it is. A, well, because you know, there wasn't that much there. Yeah. But you're, but you're putting two different things in your frames. Okay. I think this is going to take a several coats of paint. I think this is going to take me a lot of coats of paint. Because I'm just going for like a rusty theme. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes these ones can be hard, sometimes they can be easy. I don't know what color I should go for. I can't find any of the bright red. I don't want a bright red. I want to bright red. I guess I'll have to do it. Because I'm going for like... Not a pink pink, a pink, um, 
peachy pink mm -hmm. kind of color. Mm -hmm. And then I'm next. Mm -hmm. Let's see what color it makes. I'm hoping for, I'm crossing my fingers for like a peachy pink. So basically I do equal parts of that and then I do a little bit of black and then it creates pretty color. This is done. So I have a little bit of white because it was too dark but I like it. Yeah, I like this color. Good. I thought I was going to hate the color that I made but I kind of like it on the canvas. Let me see. Like that kind of yeah, nice. It's supposed to be like a rustic brown kind of thing because I'm going to paint over it with white. Nice. Nice. And you're happy with yours? Yep. I like it. Pretty. Very nice. I might do blue. This is my blue so far. It's very pretty. Why did I choose like the longest one in there? I don't know. <gasps> this is literally the longest um, art stick ever. So I oh, learned sorry. how to paint things to look like wood. Oh, nice. In my art class, I had to paint a um, paint a uh, cart for a play that our school did. Yeah. Um, because art class, they do that. Yeah, they do that. So, um, you made it look exactly like wood. Yeah, and uh, the teacher was extremely impressed, and she was very happy with the result. I finished one side. Now I'm going to do the inside of this. I think that's a pretty brown. Yeah, I do too. That's a lighter color. But Very woodland. Kind of like, you know. It's a lighter color than what I did initially, but yeah. Can anyone guess my favorite color? It's only two. Pink. And red. Blue. Not red. Blue. No. Purple. No. Yellow. No. Green. So it is pink and? Yellow. No. Green. No. Fuchsia. No. Blue. Silver. It's gonna be the easiest color. White. No. Black. Yes. Pink and black. You take after mom on that. I, I think I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Yeah, I like that. You, it sure. looks like like wood. Aunt Michelle, my back is like a four year old. It's funny how I painted four year old. It's funny how we painted wood to look like wood. <laughs> yeah. Careful. Y'all can't see, but um, it looks like wood. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, they can see. Some YouTubers, like, while they're doing something, like, they'll fast forward it, even if they're still talking. I have two coats of paint on mine now. I have two and coats on mine, and now I need to wait until it dries so I can the wait and then I can sand it. Are you I'm really Allison? upset that I just got paint all over the shirt. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wash it off and then put my hoodie on because yeah, one the shirt. Get under your what? It. I'm gonna put my hoodie on because I have a white shirt under it. The see through. I'm gonna wait till this dries and I might do something fancy. Might. Keyword yet. This one really needs to be shaken up. You can literally hear the liquid. Yeah. At this point, it looks like I'm very much purposely painting <laughs> it. The table? Yeah. Cloth, table. Well, that's why we put the plastic down, right? Yeah, tablecloth. This 
Um, it's kind of like the pink I was um hoping for, like this pink. Yeah. But it's turned out a bit darker. Still look. Cool. This right here looks bad. It's fine. You're the artist. You can do anything. Yeah, but I don't like what I did. It's hard to get into these crevices with the big brush. All the nooks and crannies or crevices. Who knows what they're called. It's so okay, Luna. I got most of it out, but like a lot of it is still like in there. Better but most than of it's I out. Do, what? I still got a black it's one like that. Than I do. Okay, so like this is my frame now. And if you're wondering, yes, I got most of the paint out, just not all of it. Okay, I'm gonna do my white layer now. I'm gonna need a lot of paint and a new paintbrush. I've seen a lot of videos where they like fast forward through most of it. Mm -hmm. And like they'll stop at certain parts just to hear the conversation. And then they'll fast forward again once the conversation ends. Yeah. Are you just waiting for yours to dry now and yours is done and then you have to sand it? Yeah. What about you, Allison? I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry? But what about you for yours? Is yours done? You just has to dry? Yeah, I guess. I only wanted to do one coat because, like, okay. I might do something fancy um, on it. I don't know. But I also need to let it dry for that. All right, so we're going to come back to this tomorrow? Uh, sure. I When everything dinner. dries? Huh? For dinner. So mine is finished. I'm pretty happy. I really hated it while I was working on it, but I like it now that I have the dots on it. You're not sure? Allison is going to eat some macaroni and cheese and decide if she's going to finish. What about you? Are you done? I think I'm pretty done. Very, oh, that looks great. Well, right now I am still finishing up my um, little um, picture frame and I decided to put some the dots four dots in the four points like I messed up right here but it's still okay it is the next day and we're just finishing up my sister on the other hand is done oh, shell is done I'm not done. It's okay. Yep, this is what we like about art. You can take your time. So I finished mine. Um, it's not the best, but I added some blue to make it look like there was more paint on it throughout the years, and some of the paint is thicker than others. And I think it looks pretty okay. I like it. You're framed right now. <laughs> I like it. Everything you do to it, it just gets better and better. And mine, meanwhile, just stays the same because I'm not doing nothing else. <laughs> so now we just have to pick the pictures to them. Obviously, this is a four by six picture, just a regular size picture. Four by six. Four by six. But obviously, I can't Wait, it can fit my face. <laughs> my face is too big. So this is smaller than four by six. So this is the little card that came in the frame. So all we're gonna do is put it over our picture where we want to be, trace around it, and then cut it out. Does that make sense? No. It doesn't? Do you want me to help you? I gotta decide where I want mine to be. I think I want it to be right there. I know where I want. So I'm going to get mine right I about there. Right. Oh yeah, it's actually bigger all the way around. Is your ink pen writing? It's having trouble. 
I'm going to trace mine real quick. I have this picture. Use this blue one. Don't press very hard. Just press a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Outline. So I made an outline on mine. I don't want to make it. Well, you gotta you gotta use this, or you're gonna cut it too small or too big. I can use this and then cut. Okay, you can do that. Just be real careful I'm not gonna and that. hold it on there tight. I'm not gonna do that. Actually. You're not. You're gonna trace like we did. Sorry, I took the scissors. It's okay. I hope I cut this in the right spot. It seemed like it's where I wanted it. If not, it's okay. Yes. It'll be good enough. These little dowels, they go in the hole so it stands up by itself. So you just put your picture in. Alright, and then just gently bend them down. Gently. And mine is done. So is mine. <gasps> I like it. That looks Here's pretty. mine. That looks pretty. Oh, let me see. Okay, Very see. nice. Here, where's your dowel? Oh, I got it right the first time. Oops. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that the top was the top. I was putting it upside down and saying that that was the top for some reason. There you go. And then, let's see what Allison does. Here's your dowel if you want to use it. Finished tracing. Take your time. Mine's the other one whose back is like covered in. Covered in. Well, she <laughs> painted her back. Look, <laughs> she was totally professional. She painted it, and then there's me. Got That's all right. I got it everywhere, and then Michelle was very neat with hers and didn't give it everywhere. Well, I'm an old lady. I can never cut straight. Lines. You're doing real good, though. I just started. That's why we trace them. Because. I can't cut on lines. Oh, you can't? Well, you're doing pretty good. I'm not even cutting on the line. Well, try to stay on the line. If you I can, can't. You can. You just have to keep watching it and go slow. What happens is when you go faster, that is when it starts to go a little bit awry. I don't know how to You did it. Line. But you did it already. No, I didn't. Look, you did. It's never going to be exactly on the line. Some people can get it exactly on the line. Mine is not exactly on the line. Mine was everywhere. You're doing real good. Yeah. All right. So do it. Do it down so we can set them up like this, and then you can change it next time. I know you're frustrated, but okay, you do it. Sorry, I didn't mean to take over your project. I just think this is fun. Yeah. Nice. Bend them down. She got it in the easiest. She did. She got it in easier than either one of us. All right. Here's your little dowel. Do you want to put that in too? mistake.